Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I'm kind of bringing back my foundation Fridays, even though I don't know what day today is. And I'm gonna be talking about more than foundation. So that is why I look like a naked mole rat because we're gonna do a full face transformation with all matte products. I am an oily skin girl. My oily skin is definitely chilled out, but I still get pretty shiny. So I bought a bunch of mattifying products from Sephora. So let's do a little unbagging and see what I got. I grabbed the One Size Oil Sucker Extreme Mattifying Alkaline Primer. I also got the Super Goop Mineral Matte Screen. I think it might be safe to say that Super Goop makes the best sunblock, especially if you have brown skin. There is zero white cast. It's a clear product, so I just love that. And now that they have a matte version, had to try it. I got the Huda Beauty Faw Filter Luminous Matte Liquid Concealer. And I also got the Porefessional Matte and Blur Loose Setting Powder from Benefit, as well as the Porefessional Super Setter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray, also by Benefit. In my little goodie bag, I did get some hair products, of course. I got the K18 Dry Shampoo and the Crown Finishing Spray. So if you wanna see me do my hair, Make sure you go back and watch my previous video. But this video, we're gonna focus on the face. I am gonna go back to Old Faithful, my NARS Soft Matte Foundation. You can tell I use this every day by how crusty it looks. <laughs> every day. It just really does such a great job mattifying my skin. So let's just try all the things. Already put on moisturizer. Let's use the Oil Control Oil Sucker Extreme Mattifying Primer. If you don't know, this is by Patrick Star. It's a cute little Packaging, okay. Oh, it's like pink. I was not expecting that tint. Immediately sucks away excess oil from the surface of the skin. Provides pores with a tighter appearance. Provides an extreme mattifying effect. Now I'm aware that in order to see if something truly works, I probably shouldn't be trying all the things together, but I'm very impatient and I just want to try them all. I will try them individually, but today, I just wanna see how mad I can get. Okay, first off, it might not be getting along with my serums and moisturizers that I put on. It's kind of peeling off a little bit, but that is not the product's fault. That's me layering incorrectly, so I will keep trying and see what this goes well with. Now let's try the Super Goop Mineral Matte Screen. I hope this is still clear, because I've yet to find a mineral sunblock that does not leave a white cast. Okay, it's not clear. <gasps> this is different than the unseen. At least it's like a brownish color. It kind of reminds me of the texture of the primer. Uh-oh, what have I done? <laughs> All right, let's not judge it. Let's just keep rubbing it in. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm shocked. I thought it was gonna be like the unseen one. I didn't think about it. the mineral part. Mineral always leaves a white cast. I've not found a good mineral one, but. <laughs> All right, I don't think I use this on its own, but maybe with makeup on top, it'll be fine. Kind of bummed about this because the unseen is undefeated. It is giving mattification. If you have lighter skin, Probably won't be a problem, but if you're my skin tone or darker, I don't think this one's for us. Okay, it's not too bad, but I definitely do see a white cast. Let's cover it. I like how it feels on my skin though. All right, let's just keep on moving. Now let's grab Old Faithful. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation in the color Cadiz Medium Deep 3. This is actually getting kind of low. I probably should have bought more while I was at Sephora. The coverage night and day. And even though it's matte, it's soft matte, so I still get like a nice glow from it, but it does keep me not as shiny. Foundation is now set. Let's move on to the Faux Filter Luminous Matte Concealer. Come on, by Huda Beauty. I got the color Toasted Almond 5.3G. Looks like that. I hope this is the right color. There's the applicator. I think the color is perfect. I haven't really mastered like, you know, that millennial way versus like new way to do concealer. I guess we're not doing triangles anymore. We're just kind of doing here and here. But like, as a mom of two, I'm very uh, tired, sleep deprived, and I have very dark circles that need to be hidden. Okay, I'm liking the coverage on this. And I think the color is perfect. 
So I'm gonna let this set down for a second and put on the brows and then I'm gonna blend it in. Brow pencils also by Benefit. Eyebrows on, let's blend this in. Just using a beauty blender. I like this. Honestly, I have not been happy with a lot of different concealers I've been trying. I end up always going back to my drugstore, L'Oreal Infallible. It's just kind of the goat and it's way affordable, but I'm finally liking a more high end concealer and it's a good color match go me so far this one has got me the most excited out of things that i got now let's set it with more matte stuff matte and blur loose setting powder the pore professional by benefit it's kind of like a really soft creamy color it's not too like casper white but let's just set the entire face. I feel like I should be super matte all day. This goes according to plan. There's no way all the products could fail, right? Yeah, it goes on very translucent. I would compare it to it being a little bit darker than uh, the Laura Mercier one. It's not like white like that. The Laura Mercier is a current favorite. So let's see if this can make the top. Wanna be on top? Do -do 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 -do. Let's just do the whole face. <laughs> powder, baby, powder. I'm gonna be outside today. My son has swim lesson, so I'm gonna be literally out in the sun sweating. This is the ultimate test. Wow, I'm super matte. And those are all the matte products that I own for my face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face. And I'm back, full face complete. I'm looking extremely matte right now, but I'm gonna add one more on top. This is the Pore Professional Super Setter. I was tempted to do the one size, but I feel like everybody knows about this one. But let's see how this one does, maybe in comparison. Long lasting makeup setting spray. Shake well, hold eight inches from the face, mist all over. Helps lock on makeup, softens the look of pores. That's important. Important. I like that it was a very fine mist. Some setting sprays you're like, <coughs> and it's like, like a squirt gun. But this went on very nicely. So it is currently 231. Yes, that's my cute baby. I'm gonna let this sit for as long as possible. I have to leave the house. I gotta go sit at a swim lesson out in the sun. So we're gonna really put this to the test and see if all these mattifying products can work together to keep ya oily girl matte. Checking in, five o'clock swim lessons, six o'clock. Wallow in self pity. Just <laughs> Makeup is so bad. Like, it's so. They're... Shine where? Where's the shine? Wow. Every day. And I'm back. It's now 9 01. PM. So that means I've had on this makeup for almost seven hours and I was outside in the sun. Definitely got some water splash on me at swim lessons and my skin looks so good. I'm still matte. Like barely shine. Like I don't even think that's shine. I think that's just like the reflection of the light. This is the most matte I might have ever been in my entire life <laughs> out of every foundation Friday. I don't even have blotting strips anymore. This is where we are. I could use the Fenty Beauty Matte Pressed Powder. A little dollop. Like literally good as new. So now we know that all the things combined work. I do think I've tried this and a different mattifying primer before. I really want to give a lot of credit to this oil sucker. I'm excited to try this again without whatever moisturizer I used this morning. I'm not in love with the mineral matte screen because of the cast but if i'm wearing it with makeup it's really not a problem but on a day where i'm not i wouldn't really be able to grab this so the unseen one is still the best the benefit professional did a great job at setting everything and then i think the spray also did its job but overall i'm very happy with my results and i'm definitely more matte using these things than when i just use the nars even on its own so to all of my oily peeps watching this is what you want to try if you want to stay matte for a long 
period of time. And if you're looking at the hair, I also tried some new hair products today, so make sure you go back and watch my previous video so you can see how I got to this point. And if you want me to try more products all the time, I did just launch a new series on Instagram where I'm calling it Try It Tuesdays, where every Tuesday I'm just gonna try something and it's gonna be based off of whatever you want. Skincare, makeup, hair products, cocktailing one hair brand with another hair brand, whatever you want me to try, make sure you follow me on Instagram and let me know so I could try it next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos hopefully every Sunday. Gotta experiment and see how many I could make now being a mom of two. That's why the schedule has shifted. But I feel like me again today. We're getting back on track and I'm excited to be back. I missed you guys. I'm thankful that you are here once again to watch my long form videos. But make sure you also follow me on Instagram and TikTok just, just so you could be everywhere. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee today.